Well, I was actually planning to get outside today and make a video, but it decided that it was gonna get really windy, really cold, and snow a little bit, so that sucks. Uh, in the meantime, I have a project that I've been meaning to do for a little while. I have um, the Toro 60 volt recycler that I got earlier this year, and I have a Big League Lawns uh, 21 inch stripe kit that I've been wanting to try out on this mower. Um, and I plan to try it on this mower this year, but I thought I would take the opportunity to show you a little bit more in depth my quick connect system for these lawn stripers. Earlier this year, I developed a quick connect system that allows you to make these kits a little less permanent um, when connected to the mower. Uh, when you buy them, usually what they have you do is bolt it to the frame, and if you wanna take it off, it's not so easy, and it's kind of a pain in the butt if you don't wanna stripe all the time. So for me, I decided to make a kit that allows you to take it off in a matter of seconds. So I wanna show you a little bit more detail about that, just kind of have you tag along with me for this project. And I'm obviously looking forward to seeing how the mower does towing a stripe kit this year. So that will be something to look forward to in a future video. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this out of the box, put it together, attach it to the mower, see how that goes with the quick connect and should be fun. Let's get to it. Now before I get started, this thing is dirty. My dad's been using this mower most of the year and uh, it's, it's been sitting in the shed too, so it hasn't been cleaned. It needs to be cleaned up. A little more camera ready, I guess you could say. But yeah, this thing is uh, pretty dirty. Look at that. Needs to be cleaned. So I'll take a few minutes before I get started, clean this up, and we'll get started on the project. So much better. So now I'll go ahead and unbox the striping roller and go over the instructions and show you how my Quick Connect kit will attach to this mower. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the back wheels and the debris skirt from the recycler. Pretty easy. Two half inch bolts to remove the wheels and two Phillips screws for the skirt. From there you can go ahead and attach the big league brackets to the roller frame. Don't tighten the 3 quarter inch bolts all the way just yet, as you will need to adjust these later. Next you're going to want to remove the 3 8 inch nut and bolt from the big league brackets, and keep the spacers and bushings close by and in the same order you found them, because we're going to need those in just a little bit. My Quick Connect kit comes with two brackets, two 3 8 inch universal clevis pins, and two hitch pins. I'm using the big league bolts, nuts, and spacers to attach my Quick Connect bracket to the mower frame. Since the mounting point on this mower is close to the ground, make sure the lock nut is tight enough to hold the Quick Connect bracket off the ground. Those of you that have a bigger mower like the Toro Time Master don't have to worry as much about this as it has a high enough mounting point that the brackets can just hang freely when not in use. But with this particular mower you want to make sure that the lock nuts are tight as can be to keep these brackets off the ground. Once both brackets are in place you can go ahead and put the rear wheels back on. Take your time, this step can be a little tedious. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can line up the big league brackets with the quick connect brackets. Just make sure the roller is centered behind the mower and then you can tighten them in place. Now you can quickly connect the big league roller to the quick connect brackets with the clevis and hitch pins. It doesn't matter which way you place the pins, inside or outside the roller frame will work. You can even opt to trim down the universal clevis pins to clean up the look a little bit. And that's all there is to it. A one-time installation to set you up for the extreme convenience of being able to stripe or not stripe whenever you want. All right, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's project. I'd say that it was a success. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below to my website. If you wanna buy one of these kits, you can pick one up there. And yeah, I'm excited to try this out a little bit further this season and see how this machine handles the weight of the roller. If any of you have a big league stripe kit, you know that these things are pretty heavy. And that's one of the reasons that you get such a defined stripe in the lawn with them. So adding the extra weight to this, will it affect battery life? Um, will the machine be able to handle it? We'll find out. So make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel that you are. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.